Hi everybody, my name is Jennifer Squires and here we make paint, create, sew and have fun. Today we are going to pour my most complex resin pour yet. I've actually never done this before and I'm really nervous. I'm going to pour a baby dragon and um, a misplaced dragon mold, but this is um, like the egg and then you make a little like baby dragon fetus and it goes in the egg and then you pour resin in the egg and it's I've never poured something this thick so let's just hope I am um, I don't mess up so let's get into it so to start with inside the little baby dragon mold I mixed some copper and some gold metallic alcohol inks and I'm using it to paint the inside of the mold where the horns and the belly and the wings and stuff are. Everything that I want to appear different than the main batch of resin because I'm not proficient enough yet in UV resin to be able to pour this as an individual batch. So I'm painting it in in the hopes that when I pour the main pour of resin it's going to stick to it and look like it's gilded almost in a way i want the it, it, these parts to appear gold and different than the rest of the dragon so for the main body of the dragon i'm mixing up a one-to-one -one batch of crystal clear epoxy resin which is really good I got it off Amazon and I have reordered it a few times already and I seem to go through resin a lot quicker than I go through any of my other paints but I guess it's just the material that I'm excited about at the moment so mixing this up together I mix for a minimum amount of time of four minutes I always set a timer and then I continue to mix a little bit afterwards if this I'm you know listening to music as I do this because I don't like stopping halfway through a song it just seems unfinished in a weird way and it always gets mixed more even further when I mix in any alcohol inks so for inks I'm putting in some black I put in quite a lot of black because I want it to be very opaque and not transparent I don't want to be able to see through this baby dragon and I'm mixing in a little bit of copper and a tiny little bit of gold because I want it to be sort of metallic and you know slightly glittery to tie into the metallic gold that we've used to paint the wings and the belly and the horns I'm using a popsicle stick to gently push to fill in all of the spines along the back because if I try to pour in that I'm just gonna make a mess everywhere and I unmolded it without you I'm sorry I was just got really excited but this is the baby dragon and the alcohol ink stuck beautifully so I'm excited so I've stuck the baby dragon to a popsicle stick with a teeny tiny drop of UV resin and some nylon fishing wire stuff to suspend it in what will be the egg So for the egg I want it to be sort of a smoky glass type colour. Um, I poured way too much at once and I put too much ink in it all at once. My too much more is better gene part of my brain um, took over and messed everything up and almost set it on fire. Mm. Pardon the noise in the background, my neighbours are deciding to build stuff. But yeah, um, I think <coughs> with just one singular black of drop, um, 
like a drop of black um it just made it too dark and i put way too much metallics in it and i obviously also spilt it everywhere i now have silicone mats so it's a lot easier to clean up now but yeah i am um, we started to smoke it overheated really fast and 48 hours later it is still soft I can still squish it press it down quite easy with my thumb and it's it, it a lot of it didn't cure but kind of cured enough like um, it more of a plasticine touch texture where you could indent it with your thumb but it's still kind of firm so I waited and I waited and I waited for it to set and I would get a little bit firmer and so I thought oh, okay and I thought bugger it it's not going to set after 48 hours if it hasn't set now it's not going to <laughs> pardon me so I'm just going to unmold it show you what it looks like and straight away I can tell I've put way too much metallic in it I should be able to see the baby dragon bottom by now but I can't see it I can't see really through the egg unless I hold it up to the light and you can see the kind of matte wrinkliness on the bottom of the egg it's you know it's too much you can see how soft it is and I'm not pleased I'm a little annoyed with myself because resin is not a cheap material especially for somebody who's just starting out and having to buy little batches at once I decided to try again after I cried a bit because it was expensive and I decided to go slightly more grotesque with this I went with um, you know those alien babies in a jar type deal I kind of wanted to emulate something like that like a, like a fetus in a jar in a lab or something like that with a slightly pink fluid around it and the flesh colored you know thing preserved in the jar so that's what I'm doing with this one I'm making a flesh colored dragon I'm not painting anything on the molds I want it to be sort of give off the half developed vibes if you know what I mean and so yeah that's what that was my goal for this so mixing up the resin again I'm always wearing a respirator I have a fan blowing I have my windows wide open gloves setting a timer and I'm using some white alcohol ink for opacity and to help give that pastel vibe undertone and um, yeah so and then I'm going to use um, a coffee color and then it looks like very much like a pastel brown after I add in that coffee color so I jump up and I go and I grab my my orange transparent to give it more of a skin tone and I was kind of checking it against sort of my own skin tone which is pale as all heck so yeah that, that, that was what I was aiming for I think also with the addition of adding the orange it gave it a bit more warmth and made it the baby dragon seem like maybe once it was alive again mixing it until there is no streaks making sure that the color is consistent and uniform was really important for what I was trying to achieve at this point and yeah I'm, I'm yeah I think I'm going to continue to work with resin a lot more in the future so if you have any ideas of what you want me to see I will continue to make things it's the material that I'm excited about at the moment so it's something new and it's something different and it's almost like a glass like finished but like it's it's a plastic so you know the ho a whole world of things I can make have opened up and I'm actually really excited I've started pressing flowers in the hopes that I can preserve maybe some flowers that I got from my husband for our 15th anniversary in resin to keep them I still have the very first 
set of roses he ever bought me he bought them for me the very first night we met So gluing these two halves together, I've left one half inside the mould to help align the two halves better. I didn't align it perfectly, but in the end product it isn't that noticeable unless you go searching for it, which is, you know, what I'm hoping for. Now popping this out properly from the mould with the two halves attached, the super glue did kind of attach a little bit to parts of the mould, but it didn't ruin it, so I smacked. So I suppose I still have a few good uses of the mould in it. Left, I'm really excited to see it kind of got stuck a bit there. But this is my little dragon fetus. It kind of looks like, almost like a slimy rat baby. Now for the colour for the egg, I'm kind of going a very, very pale, barely there, transparent kind of pink sort of sounding gross but amniotic fluid type colour that's what I'm going for and after mixing and mixing and mixing the resin I grab my pink I think the thing that kept me positive and helped me realise I was on the right track this time is that I can still see the baby dragon through this resin as I pour it and I can still see it all the way through as I poured every single layer. So I knew that my too much gene and that magpie part of my brain was calm and restrained enough to be able to achieve our end goal. This is the last pour. I poured this one at quarter to 11 at night and then I went to bed, fingers crossed, hoping. I actually left it an extra day and already pulling and freeing the mould around the side feels so much different than the first type and my kids were so eager to see what it looked like so I squirted a little bit of water inside to help kind of free it up and I guess lube it up my kids were excited to see the little dragon baby and peeling it back you can see it and it looks so cool I was so pleased with it and there it is it's this beautiful little mad scientist 
baby dragon experiment and a big help big thanks to my oldest child for helping me film this turning the lights on and off when requested really really helped oh god i look like merida right so here it is this is my little dragon fetus in the egg isn't he adorable i'm really proud that it worked the second time around the first one i keep wrapped up in this i kept it long enough to show them both side by side and then i'm gonna have to throw it out because the resin is cured on the top but on the bottom it's not i tried to seal it in with a layer of uv resin but as you can see it's still very like i can squash it and it's it's very soft so the two side by side i think this one because i was so excited about making it the too much gene took over and there's far too much glitter, there's far too much everything in it. You can't really see the baby dragon inside it, which was fine by the way. The resin, that part sat beautifully. It was the egg, me getting too impatient and pouring it in a single pour, where this one I poured in four layers and it overheated. It actually started smoking. It started smoking and I had to take it outside for a good number of hours before it cooled down enough to be able to bring it back inside. And it just stank. It stank like somebody spilt nail polish everywhere. So now that we've seen this and learned a lesson in patience and doing research before going in whole hog because you're too excited. Um and then we come up with a beautiful result like this. So this is now going to be disposed of safely because uncured resin is not safe to handle. And I did think, oh, maybe if I leave it in the light, you know, on the windowsill, it'll set. It didn't. It started to melt and ooze. And now there's resin on the windowsill, which, you know, I've had to slowly get off with a palette knife. It's gross. So this is being disposed of. And we're now left with this beautiful dragon fetus. So, if you want to see any other resin videos, I've found that this is a medium that is so much fun to work with. Um, I'm going to continue to make resin videos and other videos as well, but I think resin is just the thing that I'm excited about right now. So that's the thing I want to play with and the thing I want to make stuff with right now. So, um, yeah. I will see you on another video. Please like, comment, subscribe share this video with a friend if you any engagement in this video actually does help and you know it pleases our algorithm overlords we um are trying to get to a thousand subscribers i mean it's taken us like four years to get to 130 so i don't foresee that happening anytime soon i just make what makes my heart happy and if it also makes you happy then cool tell people about it jobs are good right i'll see you next time bye